that is problem number 7. Problem number 7, let me write on the board. Okay. If x square minus 15 minus m of 2x minus 8 is equal to 0 has equal roots, equal roots, then find m. then find m. Okay. If this quadratic equation has equal roots, then we have to find out undetermined value, m value we have to find out here in this case. So, solution here given x square minus 15 minus m times 2 x minus 8 is equal to 0. The first and foremost thing is we have to put in the form of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 form. So, x square minus 15 minus 2 m x plus 8 m is equal to 0 minus m into minus 8 plus 8 m. So, this can be rewritten x square minus 2 m x plus 8 m minus 15 is equal to 0. It looks like a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. Comparing with the a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. Here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 m, c is equal to 8 m minus 15. Since roots are equal, since roots are equal, that implies d is equal to 0, means b square minus 4 a c is equal to 0 substitute the respective values, substitute the respective values. Let us substitute. Okay. Minus 2 m whole square minus 4 into 1 c means 8 m minus 15 equals to 0. 4 m square 4 into 8 m minus 15 is equal to 0. Take 4 common m square minus 8 m plus 15 is equal to 0. So, m square minus 8 m plus 15 is equal to 0 by 4 is 0. Now, here 15 factors write down. 15 factors is we have 3 into 5 or we can write minus 3 into minus 5. So, this 8 m can be split as m square minus 3 m minus 5 m plus 15 is equal to 0. From these two take m common m minus 3 minus 5 common m minus 3 is equal to 0. Again m minus 3 common m minus 5 is equal to 0. So, we have m minus 3 is equal to 0, m minus 5 is equal to 0, m is equal to 3, m is equal to 5. Therefore, m is equal to 3 or 5. Eighth one, if x square minus 6 x plus 5 is equal to 0 and x square 
minus 12 x plus p is equal to 0 have a common root then find p then find p okay let alpha be the common root since alpha be the common root it must satisfy first equation and second equation. So, we get alpha square minus 6 alpha plus 5 is equal to 0 say equation 1. Next alpha square minus 12 alpha plus p is equal to 0. If you solve first equation we get alpha values solving equation 1 for alpha. So, this can be written alpha square minus phi alpha minus alpha plus phi is equal to 0. Alpha common alpha minus phi minus 1 common alpha minus phi is equal to 0. Now, alpha minus phi is taken out then we have alpha minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is equal to alpha minus 5 is equal to 0, alpha minus 1 is equal to 0, alpha is equal to 5, alpha is equal to 1. That means, here two cases will arise. Case 1, suppose alpha is equal to 5 from equation 2 substitute alpha is equal to phi in equation 2. So, phi square minus 12 into phi plus p is equal to 0 25 minus 60 plus p is equal to 0 p minus 35 is equal to 0 p is equal to 35. One of the values of p is 35. Case 2, suppose case 2 alpha is equal to 1, again from equation 2, from equation 2, 1 square minus 12 into 1 plus p is equal to 0, 1 minus 12 plus p is equal to 0. So, p minus 11 is equal to 0, p is equal to 11. Hence, p is equal to 11 or 35. 